What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, hey, yo, and now we're back to you with another Text Nation fan talk. You already know what time it is. I'm coming at y'all today with some highlights and reviews of the day one, day two of Houston Texans training camp 2022. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like. And if you want to see more Houston Texans content, go ahead and drop the sub. If you want to stay up to date with Houston Texans content from training camp, to preseason to the full 2022 season this is the channel you want to be subscribed to let's go ahead and jump into this like i said we're going to be going over the training camp 2022 your boy was there live and in person so a lot of what i'm giving you today is going to be from my eyes some of it day one it wasn't i'm getting reports from guys a lot of trusted sources and a lot of trusted guys who know what they're talking about. But day two, I was there. I did get the meet Lovey Smith. I did get the meet Cal McNair and several other players. I got a lot of cool autographs and I got to meet a lot of cool players and people. It was a very cool experience. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of a quick video for you all. First thing I want to talk about is how Lovey Smith is giving tremendous praise to Davis Mills, second year quarterback for the Houston Texans. It's been said by multiple players, even Lovey Smith himself, that Davis Mills is looking like a brand new quarterback going into this process, being the franchise quarterback as of right now, being the day one starter. For training camp as of right now really into the foreseeable future last year davis mills came into this thing as qb3 not really taking first team reps barely taking second team reps mainly third team reps he wasn't even looked at being the starter last year or even getting live nfl reps but eventually we all know how that story played out and we got to this point davis mills has been touted by Lovey Smith as being a, a poised leader in everything that he wants in a starting quarterback. Lovey Smith says when they hand out um, captain captain votes, his vote is going to Davis Mills. That is a tremendous type of praise to be getting from your head coach. And not just your head coach, Lovey Smith, one of the most respected head coaches in the game. Lovey Smith has been out. Lovey Smith has been around several different quarterbacks. And me personally, I don't think I've heard Lovey Smith give this type of praise to any of the quarterbacks he's been under. And that's just my personal opinion. And so if Lovey Smith is giving Davis Mills this type of props, you know he's seeing some good things and we're most likely going to be seeing some good things. Now, something that I've seen from training camp and also been hearing from other news sources is that the tight end group from Brevin Jordan, Farrell Brown, these guys are getting tremendous love from offensive coordinator Pep Hamilton and also they're becoming Davis Mills, the other quarterbacks, best targets to really go to. Brevin Jordan, we already know, second year tight end has come into his own and he's been getting a lot of love from media and also from Davis Mills, like I said. Farrell Brown last year did have a couple issues, did, you know, not have some good games, but he's looking like a brand new tight end this year. If we could get both these guys to really go to work this year, this thing could really go rocking. Pep Hamilton's scheme really involves two tight end sets. So having both these guys play good, play up to their value is something that we're going to need going forward. Something else, Nico Collins. Brandon Cooks, they're looking like the wide receiver duo that we're hoping to see. Nico Collins is coming into his own second year wide receiver, kind of like Brevin Jordan's second year player. Brandon Cooks, we really don't really need to talk much about him. He's a walking 1K yard receiver. The dude is a beast. He goes to work every day. He's a professional. And we already know he's David, Davis Mills' favorite target. Now, that wide receiver three, four, and five position spot is wide open. From my eyes, is really looking like guys like Johnny Johnson, Chris Conley, they're going to make the roster. Those are the two guys who are turning heads. I went there yesterday, well, on Saturday, yeah, which was yesterday. <laughs> Johnny Johnson was looking like a, a, a pretty solid wide receiver for an undrafted rookie. I'll be excited to see what the, the roster spot you know, comes into because we need a third, a solid third, 
We need a solid fourth and we need a solid fifth. Do we bring in a sixth wide receiver? I don't know. Possibly for depth reasons, for health reasons. We'll see. Now, defense. It is true. Defense is flying around the ball. They're getting to it. Lovey Smith has his group of guys going, ready to work. This is what I've been saying for the past couple weeks. You know, familiarity is very good for coaches and not just coaches, but for the players. A lot of these guys, second year guys, they know the system. They know what it takes to, you know, to get it done and what Lovey Smith is expecting from them. Guys like Garrett Wallow, guys like Christian Kersey, Kamu Guja Hill, um, you know, Desmond King, Tavarine Thomas. A lot of these guys who are coming back into the second season, they know what it takes to 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 get the most out of a Lovey Smith scheme, and that's what you want to see. Um, a couple of new faces like Steven Nelson, he's been making plays. MJ Stewart, he's making plays. Um, Jerry Hughes, Oboe, there's a lot of the pass rushes there also. I'm, I'm excited to see what, what happens going forward. Now, some key guys, in my personal opinion, who, you know, they're, they, they've been going to work, they've been showing their value, and, you know, they've been looking pretty nice. Derek Stingley Jr., he's catching punts. He's, he, they are taking it a little slow with Derek Stingley Jr., which I expect he was injured for the past two years. But, you know, if he's running around making plays during practice, he obviously has to be healthy somewhat. But it's said that they're going to take it slow with him until game one, which is very smart of the Houston Texans. The line of scrimmage on defense, those guys are setting an edge, and they're really getting after the quarterback. Like, they're really getting after the quarterback. There's no pads yet, so they can't really go all off. And plus, you're not going to go all off versus your starting quarterback. But it's looking like we're having some very serious pass rush coming at the quarterback. And I'm really happy to see that. Something else. The safeties from MJ Stewart, Jonathan Owens, Jalen Petrie. This group of guys is, is looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. I, I'm liking what I'm seeing, especially from Jalen Petrie and, and Jonathan Owens. Those both guys, it's looking like a phenomenal tandem. Let's not say they're, they're going to be one of the top. 15 safety duos, safety groups in the league. But who knows? Who knows what can happen? Now, my last and final point that I'm going to be going over today is going to be Damian Pierce. He might be a starter sooner than later. He's getting first team reps, second team reps, and he's even taking, you know, second running back, first running back reps. I mean, of course, if he's getting first team reps, second team reps, <laughs> of course. But, I mean... I don't really see Rex Burkhead starting the season as RB1. That's just my personal opinion. And like I said, Damian Pierce is getting reps over Marlon Mack. So if Marlon Mack is going to be RB2, that's not bad. That's actually a pretty good thing because I'd rather see Damian Pierce get the nod as starting running back first. Because, you know, we, we took him over some other pretty solid quarter, other solid running backs in the draft. But those are going to be my conclusion of the points in this video y'all let me know what y'all are excited to see going into week two of houston texas training camp we do get in pass this week so the pass rush the hitting and everything is going to be turned up this week it's your boy Illinois signing off peace go texans